Grace from Pink Pig. Um, today I'm here to talk about Zero again because we're big Zero fans, but um, more specifically to talk about what happens when you make an error on Zero. Um, you need to correct it, and you're not sure how to fix it. It's all gone wrong. Oh my God, what do I do? Um, there are a few like common bookkeeping things we see uh, day to day when we're checking things, so I thought I would run through them um, and just show you like what what's going wrong um, and how you can fix it if it does happen. Um, we're all human. I definitely make mistakes. <laughs> it's just about how we go about fixing it. Um, so yeah, don't worry. There's not much you can do in zero that can't be fixed or undone and redone. So yeah, it's fine. Cool. So one thing we see quite a lot is duplicating things, whether that's like duplicated bank transactions, duplicated invoices. Um, so if you're using Xero already, you might also be using a software called Dext. Um, and Dext is really good. We love Dext. It's basically a software that extracts information from your invoices and pushes it over to Xero. And you can set up automation rules. And yeah, there's lots to do with it. But what sometimes happens is if you upload an invoice, um, maybe it comes with a delivery note as well, or maybe it comes with a good receive note or a statement, what the custody suppliers send you a statement. Um, sometimes people push the statement or the delivery note through to zero as well and it doubles up the expense which isn't good. Um, it basically doubles up the expense, distorts your profit, you know, reduces your profit and it um, changes all the reports. And we're not really giving you accurate figures when we when we give you reports like that. So we want to avoid that if possible. Um, if that happens, you just need to find the duplicated invoice and remove that or void it. Um, so yeah, it's quite easy to fix, so don't worry. Um, something else we see is wages postings just going to the wrong place. So it's just a missed posting. So when it comes up in your bank feed and you're paying your staff or you're paying yourself, um, say you're paying your staff, it needs to go to a code called wages payable. I can see how it happens um, if you type in wages. There's a few codes that come up. There's one called direct wages, but it should always be, it should always be wages payable if you're paying staff. Um, that's really the same if you're paying yourself as well. If you if you're a director, shareholder, and you're taking dividends as well as um, salary through payroll, the salary part that you pay yourself should go to wages payable, much like the staff ones do. Um, but the dividend side should go to director's loan account. Um, so yeah, if you do any of that wrong, just make sure you correct it. So what you need to do is find the transaction, remove it, and it will push it back to your bank feed, and then you can do it again correctly through your bank feed. Cool. Um, sometimes we also see missed postings to fixed asset accounts. So when you raise an invoice in zero, um, raise, raise a purchase invoice or a bill, there's a drop down section for the account code, and there's loads of different headings. There'll be like assets, and there'll be expenses. Um, it's important that you know the difference between asset and an expense. So an asset is something that's like a larger purchase, say like machinery or um, a company car or a van or, you know, even like a computer or a desk. You know, it's, it's a bigger thing that's expected to last more than a year. Um, and that is important that it goes to an asset code. Um, and it's important that if you're buying like general computer equipment, that that is not going to an asset code. That goes to the profit and loss expense area um, because your expense is showing your profit and loss and your assets show on your balance sheet. And that your balance sheet is like a rundown of the assets and liabilities of the business. So it's just make sure that when we when we send you reports, it's all going to the right place. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about VAT errors and mistakes and how to fix them. So obviously we don't want to pay more VAT than we have to. We want to reclaim as much VAT as we can to reduce your quarterly VAT bill. Um, but we can only reclaim where there's like legitimate VAT to reclaim. So maybe it goes without saying, but if you've accidentally put a personal transaction through that's not business related, you can't reclaim VAT on that, unfortunately. Um, it's just not a business expense. Um, and if you have accidentally done that, it, the, it should be posted to your director's own account because it's not a business expense. Um, another one is customer entertainment. You can't, unfortunately, reclaim VAT where you pay for the customer entertainment. Um, that's just a HMRC rule. And finally, maybe another quirky one. Um, if you lease a company car, you can't um, reclaim 
all the VAT. You can actually, you know, you, if you lease a car, you normally get a monthly invoice from the lease company that says this is how much it costs and it breaks down the VAT. You can actually only reclaim 50% of the VAT listed on the invoice. Um, that's because generally it's um, dual use, there's business use and personal use, so you can't reclaim 100%. If, for instance, you were only using the car for business use and no personal journeys are happening, you could reclaim 100%. But in most cases, that's not the case. There is like the odd personal journey, so we, we limit it at 50%. Um, that's not the case with electric cars. If It's slightly different. If you've got an electric car, you can actually reclaim 100% of that. Um, so that's just another little benefit of having an electric car. Yeah, so um, there are loads of different like VAT rules, but that's they're the ones we see. But if you have any other things that come up, you, you know, you can just ask. And I hope I hope this does like help clear up how to fix mistakes in zero that you've made. But if you do have any questions or you think, oh my god, I've made done something wrong, how do I fix it? Please just like get in touch, give us a call, and and we can help. <laughs>